the challenges of transitioning into the corporate space in North America. Welcome again to another Common Sense with Freddie with Coach Wilfred Asuko. How are you guys doing today? I'm sure you've been enjoying our different series and enjoying some of our live nuggets that can help you make informed decisions. I am a capacity builder and the founder of a virtual coaching platform, Zit Worldwide. And I'm sure you have one or two things to learn on this channel. And if you're just joining us for the very first time, please don't forget to smash on the red subscribe button below this video. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the challenges you will face when you want to transition into the corporate space in North America. You see, Many of us who came from Africa, like Nigeria, motherland, we were working in the corporate space. We were doing our own thing, making our own money. We were chilling and boiling, you know, and having fun, right? But after we relocated to this um, different country, different region, different continents, I'm sure you would have been met with cultural shock. And the interesting part of it is that you would have desired to continue the corporate part you were before you relocated to these countries. You would have loved to continue to be in that space, making that amount of money. But you see, one of the first challenges you are going to be faced with, the people that you are going to be staying with, the people that will receive you, the people that will first be your host, will determine how far you will go. If they don't understand how to transition into the corporate space, they will tell you just what they are feeling or what they think. And to be candid, some of them may have known the challenges, but they won't tell you. They may be telling you something differently. For example, some will tell you, oh, your degree doesn't matter. Some will tell you, oh, you cannot use your degree to get into the corporate space. Some will tell you, oh, you cannot do it. That space, oh, is very challenging. The only space is nothing. So the information that they will grant you would form the basis of your decision. Remember, the choices you are going to make is a function of the awareness that you have. That is what you will be exposed to. That is the awareness that you are having. So that is your first challenge that you are going to be faced with. Anyways, one would say, how do I, you know, cross this particular challenge? Simple. If you know what you want, and if you are talking to somebody and you don't feel satisfied, why don't you jump on the internet and ask questions? Why don't you look for another source of information to see if you are going to get something different? Don't settle with just what your host is telling you. That is one of the advice I want to offer here. Now, how about our communication skills? I have several clients who are giving up because the recruiter or the hiring managers cannot hear them. They'll be like, oh, what are you saying? I can't hear you. What is it that you are saying? That is a discouragement to a lot of them. Communication is another factor that seems to militate against um, our Nigerians or Africans transitioning into the corporate space. And again, you can help yourself by improving on your communication skills. You can help yourself by using resources on YouTube or you hire a communication coach who will help you to make an effective transition and communication improvement to better scale into the corporate space. Yes, communication is a great factor. If you cannot communicate effectively, then the host or your host um, country may not be able to absorb you into the corporate system so you can be very functional and you know productive. Yes. Let's move on to another challenge that you are going to face. Cultural shock. There are several cultural shock that you might be met with. For example, there are no tardiness when you are working in the corporate space. 
you don't get to work late and expect them to lean and understand your excuses all the time here apologies can only be taken for so long discipline will be enforced so you might not last in the corporate space when you come in with indiscipline and if you come in with our usual narrative that oh please edge please in the name of god all that all those they don't work here so you have to put your acts together if you want to be in the corporate space a lot of discipline will be expected of you so from the capacity building position if you want to be productive first thing is you have to be very disciplined so most of the things you used to do in africa in nigeria you don't want to transfer such negative things over here you want to transfer positivity you want to transfer positive values and ethics into this environment your organizational skills must be top notch how about your time management skills it must be on point you don't want to be called for a conversation ah you've been coming late you've been tardy with your um time sheets so what's going on very important very important so the last thing i want to talk to you about which is the fact that when you come in here they will expect you to have some level of experiences in your resume now you might think you do not have those experiences you do because those experiences are transferable and some of us instead of us to choose to hire a coach like us who will cut small soap for you and show you things to do you will think you can do it by yourself and by the time you make several mistakes upon several mistakes you end up feeling frustrated and think oh this is not for me so i will encourage you to hire a coach find somebody who has been in that space before in that area that you have interest in who can hold you by hand and get you up to speed he will show you or she will show you how to package your resume how to package yourself how to prepare you for the challenges or those challenges ahead of you to getting you into that corporate space and guess what the pay is very fascinating. It will give you a financial stability and give you a very sound and a relaxed career to grow and strive. I'm sure these few nuggets will help your common sense because this is coming from Coach Wilfred Asuko on Common Sense with Freddie. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded. <laughs>